come on, let's go to the party. Don't be such a wet blanket. Hi everyone, it's Scott here from That's English School. 今回は人の性格を表す熟語と表現 Part 2です。よく海外ドラマとか見てるときにあれ今言った言葉何だったんだろう何か面白そうだったけどでも話が進んじゃってまあいっかとなって何も勉強にはならないですこの動画できちんと10個のイディオムを覚えましょうでも単語を覚えるだけじゃダメです本当に語彙力を増やしたいならですねその使い方も覚えなければなりません今から英語で解説しますねあとは最後にちょっとした宿題を出しますのでぜひ挑戦してみてくださいね。And if you find this video to be useful, please support our channel and give us a thumbs up.The first one is big headed. A big headed person thinks they are better or more important than other people. My brother got really big headed after his promotion. He's only the assistant manager. So after he got his new job, he thought he was pretty special. Even although my kids are very talented, I don't want them to get big headed. So your kids should always, no matter how talented they are, they should always respect the people around them. Number two is down to earth. A down to earth person is someone who is realistic and practical. They are under no illusions. I personally like to surround myself with down to earth people, just real, normal people. Virgos can be a bit sensitive, but they're also very practical and down to earth. Virgo is the sixth astrological sign in the zodiac. If your birthday is between August 23rd and September 22nd, then that's you. You're a Virgo. One of the most down to earth Hollywood movie stars is Tom Hanks. He seems such a nice person, a very real person, when you ever see him interacting with his fans. He's just like the guy next door, just a normal person, down to earth. Number three, the life and soul of the party. This is a person who, as soon as they arrive, the whole room lights up. I guess it would be someone like Samma san on TV. He's that kind of person. Is Brian not coming? Oh, that's too bad. He's always the life and soul of the party. So I guess if Brian's not coming, Maybe the party is going to be a little bit quiet and maybe even boring. I love going out with Barbara because she is the life and soul of the party. So remember, this doesn't have to always be about a party, it's just someone who makes the situation fun and enjoyable. Number four, a clock watcher. This is a negative expression used for someone who's always checking the time. It's often used for lazy workers who can't wait to go to lunch or go home for the day. He used to work late all the time, but is now a dedicated clock watcher. Hmm, maybe he got a girlfriend or something. You're such a clock watcher. Just get the job done and then we can all go home. It sounds like this person is spending too much time looking at the clock and not enough time doing his job. Number five, a wet blanket. If there is a fire, get a wet blanket and you can put it out. This is someone who spoils the fun. Even although everyone is excited about something, a wet blanket brings 
everyone down. Come on, dance with us. Don't be such a wet blanket. Some people, I guess, they just don't know how to have fun. My dad is such a wet blanket. He never lets me go to Harajuku with my friends. Well, maybe the person is just a little too young to go to Harajuku by themselves. Hello there. Have you been keeping your nose clean? I hope so. We've got a new chief inspector down at the police station. Top brass, you know, top brass. He's very down to earth, you know, treats us all the same. He's just one of those people, you know, you feel like you've known them all your life. He's had a very distinguished career so far, you know, been to Buckingham Palace, met the Queen, got the medals, all that good stuff, the whole nine yards. But you know what's nice about him? He's not in the least bit big headed. Yeah, me and some of the boys, some of the senior officers, we took him down to the pub for a few welcome drinks, you know, as you do. And he was the life and soul of the party. Yeah, I think we're gonna get along just fine. Yeah. Hey you, boy racer, is that your bike? Right, come on. Number six, a smart cookie. A smart cookie is a playful way of talking about someone who understands things very quickly. Not only do they understand about academic topics, but it also relates to knowing about life. Yuki could read and write when she was only four. She's always been a smart cookie. So academically, she was able to do these things at a very young age. A smart cookie is a great way to explain the situation. The person who invented Black Thunder was one smart cookie. Okay, I admit it. Black Thunder is one of my favorite treats. Number seven, have a short fuse. If you have a short fuse, it means you get angry really quickly. It comes from dynamite. If the fuse is very short, it explodes after a short time. Oh no, it's gonna blow! He has such a short fuse. Say the wrong thing and he just goes crazy. So we have to be very careful around these people. Sometimes they could be dangerous or they always seem stressed out. I was one minute late for the meeting and my boss was raging mad. He has a really short fuse. So for normal people, they wouldn't care about just being one minute, but someone who has a short fuse, they, they lose it over almost nothing. Number eight, larger than life. I checked in some English Japanese dictionaries for some translations, but I wasn't happy with them. I finally decided on Idai na Sonzai and Sonzai kan ga aru hito. These are people who are very impressive with a big personality. It's a very positive expression. People like Will Smith or Shinjo from the world of baseball. People who are larger than life make us stop and listen to what they have to say. So these people are sometimes loud uh, and they're very noticeable, but somehow we listen to them. They, they're very kind of attractive. They attract our attention. His larger than life personality and his baseball skills made him the obvious choice as captain. Again, think of someone like Shinjo. Number nine, full of yourself. This is a negative expression. It basically means you love yourself so much, just like this peacock. These people have confidence, but not in a nice way. I don't want to go to karaoke with Takeshi. He gets too full of himself after a few beers. Yeah, he doesn't sound like a very nice person, does he, Takeshi? Don't go getting too full of yourself. 
there's still a long way to go in this game. So you can imagine like a football coach saying this to his players to keep them focused. Number 10, a busybody. A busybody. Nobody likes a busybody. They're always interfering in our lives and are basically nosy. A busybody also likes to spread rumors and gossip. Listen, I don't care how much Mr. Suzuki gets paid. Don't be such a busybody. So Mr. Suzuki's salary is none of my business. Whenever I meet my neighbor, I always pretend I'm busy and rush off. She's an old busybody. So I guess every neighborhood has at least one busybody. Do you have one in your neighborhood? We've got some great deals on eggs at the moment. Yeah, great deals. Oh, you have an egg allergy? <laughs> we get all types in here. We've got this one regular customer. Her name's Mrs. Saito. Well, just between you and me, she's a bit of an old busybody. Yeah, we don't really like her. She's so full of herself. Yeah. Oh, Mrs. Saito, but you're early today. <laughs> so she came in here the other day looking for her favorite sweet bean buns. Well, actually, I had forgotten to order them. We were completely out of stock. But that's another story. <laughs> anyway, she went absolutely mental. Berserk! She's a larger than life character to begin with, but she's got a very short fuse. <laughs> you know, shy master. It's homework time, what everybody's been waiting for. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a Japanese sentence and I want you to put it into English, some beautiful English. So, えー、この日本語を英語にしてくださいね。コメント欄のところに入れてね。オッケー、後でチェックしますので楽しみです。Okay, now let's see. So today's sentence is kind of long. え、今日あなたは素晴らしかった。でも うぬぼれないでよ。もっとたくさんのことを学ばなければならないから。オッケー、そう、あ、あ、これ tricky one。え、そう、何かわからないことがありましたらね、え、今日のトピックについて、え、何でもコメント欄のところね、え、聞いて